time I'm gonna punt you right onto the roof. Help! Help! There are so many people gathered around, and someone is crying for help. We'd better take a look. Hey, what's going on here? Ask him. See all the mess he's made? I... I didn't do anything. Is that right? Then where did half our eggs go? Where did they go? They... A lot of them were rotten, so I threw them out. I picked them out at the market yesterday! The only rotten thing here is you. What I mean is, uh... uh I ate them! You ate all 20 eggs? I couldn't fit 20 eggs in you if I tried. Wah! Help me! Help me! Hey, hey, stop hitting him! Kid, just tell her the truth. Yeah, if you don't tell the truth, how can you expect anyone to help you? I... I... I saw that nasty ghost again, so I chased it away! This... Oh, it's that kid. Ah, <sighs> Chen Xin. Guess she's been up to no good again. Okay. Okay, you were mean to Chen Xin. So get up and go apologize to her. No! Are you talking back to me? Chen Xin already left the village. Where did she go? I don't know. I saw her running off towards the mountain behind the village again. What? I swear you'll be the death of me! This won't do. Uncle Fang, quick, get some people to go look for her. Madam, there is no need to panic. Child, when did you see Chen Xin? And when did you see her run off behind the village? About... About seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? That was four hours ago. Four hours? Now look what you've done! Why is it all my fault? Last time she hit me with a rock! All I did was chuck a couple eggs! Ah, uh, well, either way, we better get looking for her. I hope she's all right. <sighs> Hi. Need a hand? A domain guard. Ah, forgive me. Not far from our village is a place called Cloud Peak Manor. It was once used by the devotees, but after the Golden Crow was corrupted by dark wretches and became the Black Crow, it has become a dangerous place. So Chen Xin went to the manor? Well... What is it? It's a long story. Chen Xin suddenly appeared in our village five years ago. Miss Wang, at the east end of the village, took her in. No one knows where she came from, and Miss Wang never talks about it. But sometimes, we see people coming down from the mountain and visiting Miss Wang's house. That mountain is where Cloud Peak Manor is, right? It's a strange place. It's supposed to be abandoned. But lately, we've been hearing some very unsettling things about it. Some say they see monsters and dark wretches gathering there. Others say that travelers tend to disappear nearby. There's even rumors of a mysterious laboratory there where they experiment on live people to think that Chen Xin might have something to do with that place is... Does Chen Xin go there a lot? Oh, no, no, no. The rumors about messengers from the mountain were from before Chen Xin was big enough to go to the mountain herself. But now, Miss Wang is too old to keep up with her, and she tends to go where she pleases. Last month, she disappeared completely. Most people thought she must have gone up the mountain. I can't say if that's true, but we looked everywhere else and didn't find her. We called the Domain Guards, but we didn't learn anything. 
for her to reappear so suddenly, it's hard to blame the boy for throwing an egg or two. Then it looks like we'll have to investigate the mountain. Uncle Fong, you and the villagers keep up the search near the village, just in case. Thank you, thank you. I'll arrange it now. You're awake? Are you hurt? Faisa? I... just... how... If you're dizzy, just rest a bit more. Lady Faisa, the first time Lan entered the Mirage, she appeared to have no unexpected side effects from the sink. However, if she experiences prolonged dizziness or ringing in the ears, please tell us immediately and we will conduct another exam. Indeed. Thank you. Not at all. It is our honor to assist Lady Faisa. Lady Junji expressed concern that the Mirage may have unexpected effects, and that Ms. Lan may rest here for a while afterward while we monitor her. In that case, inform Chen Ji that I will stay here with Lan until she recovers. 
Please, go on about your duties. Yes, Lady Faisa. Do you feel better? Can you stand up and move around? Let me know if it hurts. Mm -hmm. Over it? In that case, I'll take you to see Chen Di. Chen Di? Have you forgotten? Chen Di is the head researcher at the Mirage Research Center. She's the reason we came here this time. You're still a child, so stay behind me. Lady Faiso. Ms. Lan? We can dispense with the pleasantries. Chen Ji, how is the plan going? Is everything going well? We have already organized the fueling of the quantitative computational model. With its help, X1 has already undergone 217 purification iterations. We are moving into mass production. However, we have found that our extraction machinery causes a dangerously unsustainable energy fluctuation. My apologies, Lady Faisa. I am still working on it. Yes. I noted this issue in your report. I trust that you will find a suitable path forward. Yes, Lady Faisa. I fully understand that my contract obligates me to resolve this and any other issues. Chen Ji, you're fine. Relax. I'm sorry, Lady Faisa. What I mean is that even though everyone in the Phantom Palace is always on edge, maybe your little friend doesn't have to be. Lady Faisa? Have you chosen a name for her? Chen Xin. Chen Xin? From a word for dust. And though dust is small, it forms the earth and tames the waters. Shen Ji, I know that you will solve this. Why not take a rest for now? Sure. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. If it's too stuffy in here, you can go out and get some air. I... Can I? Miss Faisa? Just don't bother the researchers. Hello, Miss Lon. I'm sorry, but you can't go in here. What? But another kid just went in there. I saw it. Please don't try to trick me. I haven't seen anyone else enter. What? I... I clearly saw it. What's going on here? Uh, nothing, Lady Faisa. Miss Lon was just joking around with us. Right. She said she saw a kid go in, Lady Faisa. As you know, our research center's special status means that Ms. Lan is the only child who's ever been here. 
I hope she hasn't been bothering you. Not at all. At Ms. Lan's age, their imagination runs wild. We're just concerned about security. You... come with me. Miss Face, huh? I... Do you still have a headache? No. Take this. What is it? Put it on your tongue. Don't swallow it. It will help you feel better. Just now, you said you... saw a child? Yes. But there are no other children here. No one else has seen one. Do you believe that what you saw was real? The world looks different to everyone. Our awareness and our point of view can change our perception. But the more you know, the more responsibility you have. It seems like you're very curious about this lab. You may think that what you saw was real, but... Are you ready to take on more responsibility? I... I'm ready. Then use your eyes. Look at what's happening around you. Do you still have the treat I gave you? Yes, I put it in my pocket. Don't lose it. If you start to feel bad, it can help. Hey. Ms. Lan! Ms. Lan! Hey, Miss Lan. I want to ask you something. Don't tell anyone else. Don't tell. Ms. Lan, do you know what kind of tea Lady Faisa likes? Or what she likes to eat? Uh... Tummy, just make something up. This... Is that alright? Oh, come on, what's the problem? We all see how hard Lady Faisa works. I just want to give her a gift. But you can't tell anyone about this. You... She... Shh. They can't see me. What? What do you mean, what? Uh... I mean... They saw, like... Fog infusion. Fog? Yep. She loves fog infusion. Why would such a powerful person like... Uh, I mean, great people always have a uh, unique taste, right? Thanks, Miss Lan. <sighs> now then, this little flower is for you. Remember, don't tell Lady Faisa. This will be our little secret. Oh. Um, okay. Well then, I'm off. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, you can see me. Are you... Shinsei? Shh, not so loud. Don't let them hear. Let's talk inside. What's wrong? Are you hurting? It's nothing. You're... with the Phantom Palace? Phantom Palace? Oh, no. The villagers at the bottom of the mountain sent me to look for you. I'm sorry. I can't go back with you now. There are still things I have to do here. What are you doing here? Isn't this some kind of virtual world? That's none of your business. But everyone in the village is really worried about you. They even called the Ignisville Domain Guards. We can't just leave you in a dangerous place like this. This lab isn't as dangerous as they all think it is. This isn't even my first time here. And you also came into the Mirage through the machine outside, right? That's right. I... I haven't found a way to leave the Mirage on my own yet. Unless you have another way to get out, we'll have to wait for the system to shut down in six hours anyway. What? Six hours? That's right. When it shuts down, you can get out and go tell the villagers I'm alright. Hey, wait! Jensen, are you really alright? 
Can it be a side effect of the mirage? Hey, put this on your tongue! What is it? They saw gave it to me. It can ease the mirage dizziness. Thank you. Maybe I've been using the mirage too much lately. Every time I go in, the dizziness gets worse. You can't keep doing this. Just tell me what you're trying to do here, and maybe I can help you. <sighs> I... I'm just looking for the truth. The truth about what this lab is doing, and the truth about my mother, Chenji. This virtual world is the only clue I've found so far. It lets me see what happened here in the past, but there's not a lot I can learn from it. I've tried changing things here, but as you saw, the people can't see me, and I can't change anything that happens. But maybe you can. Me? What would be different about me? You logged into the Mirage on Ms. Lon's account, which is an original account in the system. You need special permissions to log into one. I've tried before, but couldn't do it. But... I didn't do anything special to log into this account. Odd. Could it be that you... Never mind. If you want to help, then come with me. There are some things I need you to do. growing room. Ruderal? When Domain 9 plants absorb energy from the darkness, they can become hallucinogenic. Um... What's wrong? Nothing. It's more or less what I expected. This is some growing and environmental data on Ruderal. These are energy extraction efficiency records. So, this lab's purpose is to grow Ruderal, and this is its experiment plan. To create a large-scale illusory environment. Their Mirage Plan. Yes. We already knew that the Mirage Plan was their goal. So I'm going back to see what Mom... what the researchers went through to create it all. Let's go to the next room. Miss Lon, you can't go in here. Why not? This... Uh... I'm sorry, Miss Lan. The work going on in here requires complete silence. That's why we're here. What kind of work is that? Miss Lon, please don't ask questions I can't answer. All right. Research is still top secret, so aside from Lady Faisa and Lady Chunji, none of us can really see too much. 
Also, some of the research here is so dangerous that some of the doors can only be opened from the control panel in Lady Chunji's office. So, Miss Lan, please don't put yourself at risk. Oh, I see. Thank you, Miss Susine. Good, Miss Lan. Now, I have to get back to work. See you! Who are you? Miss Lan, what are you doing here? Miss Faisa told me to go for a walk, so I was just wandering around. But that's... What's wrong? Miss Lan was in here touching the switches, so we came to have a look. I... I... Children are prone to play around. I apologize if she's caused you any trouble. Oh, no, not at all. Since it was just her, we'll be on our way. Lady Faiso, Ms. Lan? Indeed. Thank you. Miss... I... That room contains equipment for refining the darkness energy from Ruderal. Every aspect of the process must be controlled very carefully. The process is very precise. But if it is disturbed, it can become dangerous very quickly. Even a small difference from the theoretical model could cause a massive disaster. So, you're saying Miss Chen Shi's work is dangerous? Darkness energy is very dangerous for people. Anyone who takes it will pay the price. Chen Ji and I are both very clear about this. But on the other side of Domain 9, the welfare of the people is- I... I understand. In that case, continue your observations. There are still a lot of things for you to learn here. I saw Faiso came for you. Are you alright? I'm fine. I found the switch to open the door, and face up... Face up covered for me. That's good. I'll tell you what I found. That place is an energy extraction room. They're extracting and concentrating energy from Ruderal, and this energy is the basis for the Mirage. But... But they're reaching the limit of concentrating that energy and are nearing a critical point? That's right. I checked their formula. They require an exponentially increasing amount of energy. That means the Mirage might need an incredible amount of energy. They have to extract more and more energy from the Ruderal. And the danger that causes might have... Yes, that might have something to do with my mother's disappearance and the research center's collapse. So, where do we go next? I think we've been missing something very important in our investigation. You mean the real reason this research center was founded? Right. I already knew they were growing Ruderal for its hallucinogenic properties, and I knew that extracting enough energy to run the Mirage was extremely dangerous. What I don't know is, why did they make the Mirage in the first place? That's right. With such high risk, what was the real purpose? We're missing something that would help us put all the clues together. We should go back to the very beginning. The time when that little research center began its research. 
I want to ask you to go to the northwest corner of the laboratory. All of the documents there have been archived, and I can't get into them. Okay. Thank you. I have a feeling we're getting really close to the truth. Chun-Sing, you're here. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. Have you found anything? Yes. The lab holds the research center's earliest historical records and also has a lot of information about their research. I found that all of this started with a single concept. Reversing dark wretches. <sighs> Exposure to darkness energy turns people into mindless shells, easily manipulated by the enemy. This lab was founded to find a way to reverse the process. There are two schools of thought about the problem. One is searching for a physical cure to the affliction, and the other believes that the affliction is permanent. They believe that the only way to save a patient is to upload their consciousness to a virtual space, away from the affected body. And the champion of that second school was... I see. Chenji, my mother. Shenxing, don't worry about it too much. Reversing dark wretches is a serious research topic. Your mother is an incredible woman. Thank you, Domain Guard. The room I just went to was the transfer station for all experimental objects. I've been there many times before, and seen varying amounts of materials, along with their properties and relationships. Now all of that information has been erased. Only the basic identifiers remain in the files. I thought that I could fool myself and become an experimental volunteer. I thought that I could convince myself that a project as big as this mirage could be nothing but a virtual amusement park. But if the lab's real purpose is indeed related to Dark Gretch transformation, then what did my mother have to pay for all the knowledge she gained? Misfisa. Research on reversing dark wretches is inevitable in Domain 9. From the people's point of view, if everyone who falls in battle becomes part of the enemy, then there's no point in fighting at all. To those in power, the dark wretch transformation process is more than just a loss for Domain 9. For many, it also means losing control of yourself, or being forced to fight against your allies. For friends to be fighting each other on the battlefield, it's a result no one can accept. That is why we built this mirage. What happens here can be hard for people to understand, so there is no better entity to take on this task than the Phantom Palace. You have seen many things today. I'm sure you also have a lot of questions. Go see Chen Ji. She can give you the best answers.
Lan? Miss... Chensei... Were you... waiting for me? Yes. Lady Fei Su told me that you should have access to all of my information. It seems that she wants you to know everything about what we're doing here. Follow me. This is the consciousness uploading room, where experimenters can enter the mirage. You have already experienced this. You can use this equipment as you like. No one else is using it now. Consciousness upload? Is this for research into reversing the Dark Wretches? Yes. I can see that Lady Faiso was right. You are a very clever child. Reversing Dark Wretches is a very urgent line of research, so we must use all the resources at our disposal to push forward. The Mirage is an arena for our experiments. Ruderal is the fuel. If you feel ready, come over to me. Miss Chensi! This is the Dark Wretch holding room. An experimenter will be your guide from here on, Lan. Lady Chenzi. Miss Lan, come with me. Yes. Ah, this is 315, adult male. Extremely sensitive to outsiders, likely to cause trouble. We have to dilute his dosage. We also have the downstairs raw materials room. Would you like to see it? Raw materials room? Yes, it's where all new materials are stored. When their biometric data matches up with the needs of an experiment, we bring them upstairs. Uh, come on, I'll take you. Chensi, you all go on. I just need some quiet right now. Lady Chin Z, number 367's biometric data is no longer adequate for the experiment. I see. Deal with it as usual. See that they are properly laid to rest. Room 317. Female. Her body was not seriously injured before transformation, so her brain activity is stable. This makes her an extremely valuable research asset. Right then. Continue the analysis. All unstable materials must be removed by 7 o'clock. Miss Chensi, what is all of this? Badges. All of these materials were people who fell in battle. In life, they suffered the hardships of the military. And in death, they still cannot rest. To learn how to reverse dark wretches, some sacrifice is necessary. As the owner of this process, I accepted this truth long ago. This badge isn't a kind of official identification. They are all proof of my failure. They remind me of the problems we face, and what has come before. Uh. You're still so young, Lan. I'm sorry that you've seen so many disturbing things at such an age. But everything I have done was to help the people have a better life and a better future. For... Shinsen? Maybe. Just like her name. I hope that she will live in a world without dark wretches. 
without war. She... she won't have to bear the consequences of her mother's mistakes. She can live free. Sorry. I've said too much. In order to preserve the materials, this room is kept quite cold. If you're too cold, Lan, feel free to go somewhere more comfortable. I see. Okay. Thank you, Miss Chenxi. So you've seen everything? The work we do here may be difficult for most people to accept. You do not have to accept it if you don't want to. Tenzi and I are just doing what we believe to be for the best. But if... If it doesn't work? Then we will note the failure and move on. Our actions can only be judged by future generations. When there is a fork in the road, we can't know for sure which way is best. And the greater your responsibility, the harder your choices become. Every choice you make could change many, many lives. Everyone here trusts Gen Z and me. They volunteered to come on this journey with us. I will also stand by them until the end, no matter what. One day, you will have to make choices like this. The hopes of countless future generations, both in Domain 9 and elsewhere, will be on your shoulders. I hope that when that day comes, you'll be ready. For Domain 9. For all of humanity. Now go. There is still more for you to do. again I don't she only gave me one should I go look for more no need thank you you know that was only the second time in my life that I've had candy <laughs> Jensen. when I was very young I had no mother the other kids all had their own friends to play with and share candy with they had all kinds of interesting things, and they said their mothers made them all. Their mothers even made them little pouches to hold all the candy. I... I had nothing. They even asked me if I didn't have a mother, and I said... I said my mom was away for work. She'll be back soon, probably tomorrow. She'll get candy for all of us. They just laughed and all ran away. I cried on my way home, opened the door, and then... Mom had come home. She brought lots of candy, snacks, clothes, everything. She read me stories, gave me this pendant, and I begged her not to leave. She didn't say anything. When I woke up the next day, I could see that it was just a dream. I gave the candy to the village children. I told them my mom bought it. They said I was lying, said that I stole Mrs. Wang's money. From then on, I never ate another piece of candy. Chen Xin, 
I saw your mother again just now, after you left. She told me that she's the one who gave you your name, because she hopes you can have a peaceful world. She hopes you... won't have to pay the price for her mistakes, and that you can live freely. I can't judge your mother, because all of that stuff is very heavy, but... I can share everything I've seen and heard with you. Tenzin, your mother was working in a lab that used dark wretches who had fallen in battle to learn how to reverse their transformation and help Domain 9 defeat the darkness. Whether to help humanity or to allow fallen soldiers to return to their families, your mother's research was essential and necessary. But... Their methods took a heavy toll, and you paid the price. Chen you, and also the fallen soldiers whose bodies were used one last time as experiments. They served a great purpose. So did your mother. Let's go see her lab, Chen Xin. Maybe, maybe all the answers are there. You're saying... these are the badges of all the fallen soldiers? Yes. Your mother didn't want to forget them. Is this... My pendant? This is... I've seen this before. It's... Mom's diary? You've grown so much, Jensen. You still have much time to think about your future. But I'm sorry I won't get to be there when you do. But no matter which path you choose moving forward, I hope you will still remember the ones you've taken. Mom, are you leaving me? The only one I owe an apology to is you, Jensen. No, Mom, I... <laughs> Sorry, Chen Xin. No, Mom! Lady Facer, thank you for your final graces. I should be the one thanking you for all your hard work these long years. The final stage's data has been backed up in the terminal, Lady Facer. The first phase of research into reversing dark wretches is officially a failure. They... I couldn't turn them back. Lady Facer, please send them on their final journey. You have already fulfilled your duties, Chenzi. Leave the rest to me.
Are you okay? I... I'm okay. Good. Now we can finally say goodbye to this place. Say goodbye? Yes. The Mirage Terminal is no longer working. I tried, but there's already no way to reconnect. Thank you. Without you, I never would have been able to leave my past. You've helped me so much. Don't worry about it. We did this together. Okay. Then let's go. Lon? Hi! I heard from the villagers that a kid was missing from this village, so I came over. Is everything alright now? Yes, it is. Good! Since the problem is taken care of, we can head back. Hold on. Can I... Can I go with you? You've already decided? Yes. Then come on. We've been waiting for you. You... Will you continue your mother's research? I'm not as talented as my mother, but I'm just as dedicated to defending Domain 9. Over there, I might find a path forward that suits me better. Thank you. Until next time. <laughs> 